very well. It's actually quite a nice durable product but you will notice that when we just use it with the mixing liquid it only really looks shiny on areas that are sort of smooth and hairless. Um, so the places it'll look really shiny will be like on the top of her chest here, on her shins, on the um, insides of her arms, places like that. On guys it's much harder to make it look shiny because they're obviously usually a bit hairier. Um, and also the thing that is quite cool is hands with this on. Um, hands and feet, areas with lots of wrinkles look really fascinating. I suppose it's, it's like seeing an, an extremely detailed yeah. gold model, gold statue. Um, and I've done this quite a few times on dancers and things like that and it's pretty good. I don't tend to bother setting it, um, even when I'm working in Hong Kong. You'll hear lots of people talking about um, setting makeup before or after this product you can put on to stop people sweating. We don't tend to advise that because obviously sweating is the way that the body cools itself down and if you stop your body sweating um, it's going to try and find other ways to make itself feel better and that will usually result in your model fainting um, because she's trying to cool down or whatever. So this product, as I said, pretty good. You can see it's really fast, even with a much smaller brush than we'd usually use. Um, and again, I wouldn't really advise using a sponge either because sponges take ages. Yeah, they do. Or should we do, no, tell you what, let's do oil on this half, shall we? You're doing it halfway down the middle. Yep. Yeah, that'll look quite cool. Is that all right with your oil on one side? And, it. Well, then we, then we don't have to do your back. <laughs> <laughs> so you can still sit yeah. down if you want to. <laughs> so if had the bright idea of doing this in a cup so hopefully you can see it a bit better so that's a little bit of the gold powder just be really careful it's so fine it flies up as you open the pot it flies up if you breathe on it for heaven's sake don't be working in a breeze or sneeze on it or anything you'll be in a cloud of gold <laughs> and a bit like glitter yeah a bit like glitter yeah all I'm going to do is add some baby oil so whichever generic baby oil you use I have seen people use vegetable oil as well but to be honest, um, baby oil is so cheap. Sorry, that's my baby having a whinge next door. <laughs> what are you doing with my baby oil? I'm a terrible mother. <laughs> um, I'm just going to mix a little bit in. Oh, you can't see now because it's all... No, I give up. <laughs> it's just coating the inside. But I'm just going to keep doing the same as I was doing with the body. Uh, with the uh, mixing liquid paint. Oh, that looks cool. Um, right. I'm just going to keep adding the gold until I get a nice gold. Um, and then paint it on. So Jenny's side, she's using the mixing liquid. Meron. Yeah. Which will set dry and touchable. So um, other thing we should say is generally we'd have our model sitting down as much as possible but we know that this is going to take less than an hour so um, Gracie's volunteered to stand up just so that we can set the camera up in one place and not have to keep moving it if we stood her up and sat her down. But do think about your model's comfort because of course as well as the time that they have to spend standing for you to paint them um, they are then going to be standing or posing for photos or we whatever activity. Yeah, they could be working. So I did do a bit of an experiment last year with the gold mix actually where I did a board mash up with it. Um, and I tried to paint over it just to see if it was possible and it didn't really work. <laughs> it kind of spread. The other thing that you can of course do, but we probably won't ask Gracie to do, is just get your model to rub herself all over with this golden oil. <laughs> <laughs> That's next time. That's it. Oh, sorry Jenny. You're oh, chucking yeah. it at me. I am. Whoop. It's just dripping, it's dripping off one of the tips. Oh, look at your boob covers. So you, you can, can see the really, difference. Yeah, you can see the difference. So these are your two options, um, basically. And I am going to do an experiment at some point where I mix the two. Because I've heard that you can get a kind of sticky, so not quite wet, not quite what dry, halfway in between mix. Oh, um, should mention that it's not advised to use the mixing liquids or the Magiset liquid.
for whichever brand, uh, sort of on the face or near the eyes. Just because although they, they are cosmetic, they do take, contain, I think one of them contains urea, I forget what the other one is. Um, what was it? Oh, anyway, it's, it's something that will make your eyes, you know, it can be a bit irritating, a bit weepy. Um, so what I tend to do is just use the powder dry with like a blusher brush or an eyeshadow brush over the face and it has a pretty seamless blend then rather than trying to match up their face with uh, trying to, you know, find a, a brand of face paint or something or body paint, solid paint that matches, it doesn't really happen. Out of shot. I yep, don't really sure. need anyone to be watching me paint this bit. Gosh, it is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Let's see, it, doesn't see it? if we just had this, it would still look impressive, yes. especially when a flash goes off. It yes. will bounce off. You're right, you're warm enough. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but when you see the difference to that. Yeah. For wow effect, definitely the right hand side. Yeah. Um, but for practicality and working, um, if your model was going to be uh, like a living statue or a, a meter and greeter at, a, at an event, um, I would go with the left hand side which is the Meron with the mixing liquid um, and that alone, mixed up obviously to the consistency that's, that's right for your model. <laughs> sprays all sorts yes but quite often they don't match um, and I have noticed that even just I'm pretty much kind of just brushing gold across the hair and it doesn't catch all the hair I mean Jenny's done a brilliant job getting this quite flat so she used like gel and all sorts to get the hair as flat as possible as smooth as possible um, sorry Gracie it's all going in your ears yeah <laughs> <Wet lily>. um, <laughs> <laughs> but even just with like some strands of the hair catching the gold and some not, it's believable. It will kind of fool the eye enough that people will just see a gold model, not a slightly gold model hair look. Um, and if you are really bothered, of course, you could spend hours, well not hours, but a while. You could always use an airbrush as well with, um, with a gold through it to yeah. do the hair. When, um, when I did Mystique on Gracie, which is going to be a tutorial that um, is next on our list to do, um, I used a chameleon UV orange uh, through the airbrush to cover her hair. Yeah. And I'm not particularly an airbrush artist. Um, it's great for, for that and for stenciling things. For right. me, anyway. Yeah. So as I'm no Alex Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> that far onto her face just because the baby oil is a bit smelly um, and then what I'll do is, is with a dry brush we'll fill in all around her eyes and her lips just like it's like um, basically the gold powder is pretty much uh, powder eyeshadow. Gosh range just... I might go dancing in the rain with my mom. <laughs> Make it oh, that would look cool on the oil side though. Yeah. yeah. Get little droplets. That's true. Um, right, so you'll notice that I'm quite often mixing up the paint again before I use it, and I have added a few bits more of the gold powder now and then, because it does seem to sort of um, thin down. Right, so what do you usually do with using the gold on the face, Kat? Just um, explain again. I just get the dry powder and just dry like a blusher brush or something. Um, just a blusher brush. So it matches the setting liquid mix really well. It probably won't do quite so well on the gold lip, the gold oil. Yeah. What I'm doing now is um, I'm just using a blusher brush mine just happens to be a real techniques brush and uh, just with the dry powder just dusting it across Gracie's face 
because as Kat explained earlier, the mixing liquid is not, it contains a product that could irritate your eyes and obviously 